Hello everyone, welcome to this Liverpool Fan TV. This is post match reaction for Liverpool 3, West Ham 2, and uh, tough, tough fight from West Ham. And as almost all predicted, that West Ham will park the bus, they didn't, and uh, they went for it. They countered us and Mikel Antonio, I said in preview that I, I'm scared of him and he always does he bully players. Joe Gomez really, relatively did well against him and as a unit we did well but at set pieces after conceding only one from 11 now we have considered two in two and that's bad start to have. We, we looked a little bit nervous. Uh, in the set, whenever uh, West Ham did attack or when they had set pieces, we look little bit nervous, and probably we missed Hendo in the midfield. Uh, Two one, probably I'll say that it was a fair score line at that point of time because even though we had some chances like Van Dijk header and Salah had a chance and I think Mane also had a chance. Firmino had a, a very good chance just in the beginning of second half, but we couldn't take. But still, I think West Ham did enough to get ahead, even though it was their second chance, but it was a good chance and they scored. And Ox was introduced and changed the game. Kaita did well. He won a lot of ball and he won a lot of foul. But I think Ox gave us energy. His ball to, uh, ball to Robo and then Robo cutback was exceptional. And Salah, even though should have not given goalkeeper a chance, he gave goalkeeper a, a chance. But uh, Fabianski... Uh, fluffed his line i think uh, arsenal fan used to call him he, he he used to play for arsenal and that time they used to call Flavia, flaviansky just because he always fluffs his line and did that and it i thought for the first goal even on genie header he could have done better to be honest so uh two mistake even though he has been sensational for west ham for last 18 months i thought for a couple of goals he was at fault but what we always do keep on keep on driving ourselves for a goal and if we would have uh, won 4-2 that would have been fair score at the end after going 2-1 down we just become desperate to score and really went for help for leather kind of not creating a uh, lot of chances but keep on banging on uh, West Ham defense trying to nick a corner or take a long shot or try to put some ball in behind we were trying a lot of things and finally paid off and Mane goal was exceptional because uh, it was a race between Trent and goalkeeper and Trent won it and chipped, uh, chipped the goalkeeper and Mane finished it off and should have got another goal to be honest he should have been aware of offside line but he was not anyway 3-2 another another tough game coming up Watford I was watching uh, again, them against Man United, they were unlucky to go down. To be honest, in the first half, in the second half, they bit uh, blown away by Manchester United. But in the first half, they gave a big fight, and I am expecting another big fight. Well, my Alisson, oh, I, I forgot to mention about Alisson. I, even though I thought he could have from Alisson, I expect that that kind of a goal, which was first goal, he could have made the save. Probably the header was too good from there and. Uh, it caught Allison out, uh, but such such a bar for Allison. He, I know he, if he would have saved that, no one would have been surprised. Even though header was superb, but one on one chance from Bowen, I think their substitute he made a massive massive save and protected the victory. Uh, no, nothing new there. Always comes up with a big big save. Always Allison always keeps us in the game. So. And nothing new there. Man of the match, I think Ox. Ox changed the game. His drive energy and winning the ball back and couple of balls was superb and his ball to Robertson was exceptional. So man of the match, I'll give it to Ox. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.